The historic flood from the Yellowstone River could end up adding some water to Lake Sakakawea. The Yellowstone River connects to the Missouri River in Williston, and because of this, more water is coming our way. Leading local in tonight's top story, Kiara Brown is live at Lake Sakakawea to tell us what this all means. Kiara? Yes, Brooke, the water is coming from the Yellowstone River and into the Missouri River, which will eventually feed into Lake Sakakawea. But it's not actually bad news for this popular destination. With the lower than normal lake levels that were expected this summer, it's an added bonus for everyone who plans on being on the water this summer. Flooding out in Yellowstone National Park will bring more water to North Dakota. Lake Sakakawea is expecting to receive a much needed increase in water levels up to five feet. The part of the Yellowstone doesn't get, none of it gets captured until it gets to Sakakawea. So that's why we're going to feel the full effect of all that rain that they had in Yellowstone and that will be coming here in the next, we'll start seeing it next week. The Yellowstone River connects to the Missouri River, which has already seen an increase in water in the northwest part of our state. The National Weather Service reports that the Missouri River has reached nearly 22 feet near Williston. According to the National Weather Service, 22 feet is considered minor flood stage, with minor flooding possible for the Williston area. But Silbernagel says no flooding is expected at Lake Sakakawea. There is no concern with any flood event. We have plenty of storage within the Sakakawea. Right now we're 10 feet below or even our flood control zone, and that's just the base. So uh, there's, there's plenty of storage, and like I said, this ultimately could be a silver lining in the end. Silbernagel says that this will benefit the lake goers and boaters and is expected to help some surrounding reservoirs as well. We're going to have improved lake access because that was one of our concerns is our, a lot of the recreators and the, the boat ramps were high and dry and there was actually a lot of funding being worked through to try to reestablish some of those low water ramps. So actually having all this extra water is going to improve that. Then also it will give us an opportunity to balance the downstream reservoirs. The full five feet of water is expected to be here by the first week in July, just in time for those 4th of July lake festivities. There could even be a slight increase in bait fish from the added water. So all in all, it should be a great summer on the lake this year. Brooke, back to you. Kiara Brown reporting live along Lake Sakakawea. Thank you, Kiara. And continuing coverage, we hear from the outgoing.